shows that they found dozens of documents labeled classified, confidential, and top secret. There's a Washington Post report last year that some of this involved nuclear documents. There has so hello guys, welcome to Max Opacity. In today's tutorial, we'll be recreating this text match cut animation from Vox YouTube video. And Johnny Harris also uses this uh, technique a lot. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. So before we start the tutorial, I would like I would like to say this: if you enjoy my tutorial, if my tutorial have been helpful in any way, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you really want to support me, which I really need, you can do that on Patreon or on Buy Me a Coffee. So thanks for watching and see you, see in the tutorial. So first we will create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. I'll be using 25 frames and let's make this 15 seconds, which is okay. So this is the original document that was used in the um, example that you just saw right now. And you notice that when I imported it, it only shows the first page. I've tried so many ways to import this so that all the pages will come up, but it just bring up, brings out the first page. So let me show you what the actual PDF looks like. So this is the entire document of Trump's, Trump's case that was in, I think, last year or so. So this is the entire document. So to actually split, split this document so that it comes out in single pages, I imported this into uh, I love PDF and splitted each page into PNGs. So this is easy. I believe you can do this yourself. So let's get into the main tutorial. So here are the documents. So the project file and the assets will be in the description for you. There's a link in the description for you to follow. So these are the files we'll be using. So next we'll go back to our browser here where the PDF is opened and we will search for the word, the particular word we want to use. So in my case, I'll be using confidential, confidential. So what you need to do is to identify where their position is, is in each page and which and how many times they appear in each page. So in page one here, you can see it's one. So you just have to go through all of them to identify which pages they are. So in page two, there are two there. So we need to duplicate. When we when we are about to do the animation, we need to duplicate this page twice. So all you, all you need to do is go through it and identify where they are positioned in each page. And you notice that there's no mention of that word in page eight and also in our first page. So let me go down to After Effect to import. So I'm only going to import from two to to seven here. So I'm just going to select these ones and hide them for now. Then shy them away so that we are so that we are focused on this one. So I will press my scale and my position. Then and once you've positioned it as well as you want, next I will bring bring in my my ruler here so that I can bring in my guide. So I'll position this guide around my text here so that we can also know where to align the subsequent and um, words that will bring in. So once you've done that, I'm going to duplicate this layer here. For the bottom layer, I'm going to bring up opacity, make this 25. Then for the top layer here, I'm just going to draw a max around it so that it stands out. And again, you notice that it's black. So I'm just going to add a new solid so that it's a new solid, a white solid behind it. So that it's like this and very much okay. So I'm just going to select both of them and pre-compose them like this. So next I'm going to unshy this again, then keep this here. Then, then close this. So let me hide this one too. So for this page two now, it's the word classified appeared twice. Let me see if I can find it. So the first one is right here and the second one is at the bottom here. So because it appears twice, we are going to duplicate this document. Then we'll do the same thing we did the first time for the rest of the pages. So I believe you can do the, do this yourself. I'll open this like this. I'm just going to hide this one for now. We're going to work on this one. So I'm going to, and another cool way to do this is, so we'll be doing for the top one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this anchor point here. I'm just going to bring up my anchor point too. Then move it up. Then I'm going to center this anchor point on the confidential so that when I scale, it scales from that point. So this is an easy way to do this. I'm just going to scale. And now you can see it's scaling from the middle there. 
And this way we don't need to do much of repositioning and I'm just going to put this in the middle. So this is nice. So I'll duplicate, make the bottom layer 25 and the top one will put a max, max there. So this is what exactly what you're going to do for the rest of the pages. So since I've showed you this, I'm just going to speed run through this and do it yourself. Once you're done with the rest of the layer, the next thing we're going to do is select all our pages and then go four frames forward by holding control and the right arrow key to go from four frames forward. Then we need to trim this layer. So to do that, you hold alt then brackets close to trim your layer like this. So after that, select your layer based on how you want them to sequence because we want them to sequence then right click on it, go down to keyframe assistant, then go down to sequence, then just press OK from here. Now you can see our layers are sequenced. So now when you play through, you can see that we have a nice animation. So you can um so you can tweak this or redesign it to however you like, add more words and maybe do some little quick animations, but this is exactly how to do your match, your text match cut animation, just like Voss or Johnny Harris. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoy tutorials like this, please hit like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Thank you.